Hey guys, just leaving the nail place. Here comes somebody parking next to my car like there's no other parking spots out here. So I have to get them the stupid look. Like, and then he want to be in a big old truck and squeeze into a parking spot. So it's the look he get. Anyway, here you go. Leaving the nail place. Stupid self. Um, I did not measure them before I came this time. So if I remember, I will measure them when I get home. I have a lot to do when I get home. Plus, I have to decorate my nails because I... <sighs> it's going to be one of them days. It's going to be one of them days. Big old truck blocking this way out. Um, I have an event Saturday, so I cannot not do my nails. Um, I may sit up late tonight and do them, but they have to be done. Um, I'm going to do the Halloween theme, even though we are right at Halloween. Like Halloween is next week, but that's just the way my weeks play out because I go every three weeks. I had to get off the road. Um, so, I don't go back to her till like the second week in November. So, I will have Halloween nails through like the first, second week in November, which I don't mind. I need to see what I have. I was thinking about it today, and I don't even know if I have any Halloween stickers. So, if I don't have any Halloween stickers, I already decided to do orange and black and green. I just got to get a design in my head because if I don't have no stickers, that means I have to come up with something. Um, I did purchase the blooming gel, so I'm like, do I do the crocodile? You know, the um, something I'm good at because I like to like my nails. You know what I'm saying? I'm not as um artistic as some of the nail techs out here, so I have to be careful what I do because if I don't like them, it's a lot a lot a lot of work for me to start all over again um especially after i cure it you know gel polish i can wipe off with alcohol before i cure it but if i cure it and i don't like it you gotta drill it off i also want to go home and put some more acrylic here so i'm noticing that the longer they get um they're starting to lift a little bit before my three week mark um and I was speaking to one of my girls. Y'all know her, Yanni. She's been on TLC. She's been on My Strange Addiction. She was in the Guinness Book of World Records. Her nails are, this is not long. Her nails are extremely long. And I was asking her, but she was saying as they get heavier, sometimes you have to put a little bit more acrylic at the, the cuticle area. So I did ask um, my nail girl to put more acrylic at the cuticle area. I was telling her that I feel like I'm having to be careful um, at two and a half weeks um, and I feel like she did I got to go home and really really look at it but to secure myself I'm going to go home and put like another ball of acrylic at the cuticle area just to get some thickness where it would normally lift at you know what I mean so I'm gonna go home and do that before I even design them. So I know I have an all-nighter on my hands. Like, this is an all-nighter. Well, I have to put acrylic around a cuticle area and then I'm gonna have to smooth it out again myself. Um, I just wanna put like an extra bead there and really make sure that I have weight to the back. So what I'm saying is my nails curved, they're getting longer gravity, all the weight is to the front. I need to make sure there's some weight to the back because as they grow out, um, if the cuticle area is really, really thin, it starts to lift there. There's not a lot of acrylic there. You know what I'm saying? So I need some weight to the back. I feel like when I look at it, she did. But to make myself feel better, I'm going to give myself an extra ball of acrylic um, at the cuticle area. And smooth them out. And then I will decorate them. So... 
it might be an all-nighter. It might be a pizza night because I don't have time to be stopping and cooking and all of that when I'm trying to do my nails. Um, I do my left hand pretty quick because I'm right-handed, but when it comes to my right hand, I have to actually take a little bit more time because I'm not left-handed. Um, you know what I'm saying? And time goes by when I'm doing... When you're doing nails, time just... Ooh, it just goes, honey. But I like the fact that I'm, I'm sitting in my house doing them my way. Um, you know, I wish I could let my girl design them. I wish I could let girls design them. But number one, where I go, it will be an arm and a leg for the type of designs I like. But I, am, I think I am going to let her do my birthday nails next year because I know what I want. And I want it to look like that. And ooh. I need to already ask her what she gonna charge me because it's a lot of stones. It's a lot of stones. I already know what I want. Got the picture saved in my phone. I may just splurge for my birthday. Now I can sit there and do it myself, I think. But <coughs> hey, can you send me your location? I'm headed to you now. <coughs> I could sit there and do it myself, but I think it would take a long time because of what I want. And I'm not sure if I can get it as perfect as I would like, especially um, my other hand. So I may splurge for my birthday and let her design them. I will let her know ahead of time because right now she banks on the time that I'm there. She knows she doesn't have to polish. She knows she doesn't have to design. So she does her appointments accordingly. So I will let her know if I want her to do that or something else. But um, I'm just going to keep practicing. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep practicing. I'll keep showing y'all my mess ups. I'll keep showing y'all when I don't mess up. I get it down pat. You know, I watch videos of people doing designs. They make it look so easy. They make it look so simple. And then when I go to do it, it is not that easy. I be like, y'all did a stripe and a stripe. And that, and no, that is not the beat. I'm like, no, I'm over here with squiggly lines and this don't look like that and like let me watch this again and I mean they just but I also think that when you're designing somebody else's nails it's easier because you have their hand in your hand and you can do it when I'm trying to do my nails I gotta be steady I gotta I can't twist my hand the way I can twist your hand if you were sitting in front of me and get your fingers and everything twisted how I need them to twist so but I did order um the little what do you call that? Press on nail thing to practice on. Because my hand that I have, that hand is so stiff. I just don't like it. I don't like the hand that I have. It is extremely stiff. It doesn't bend the way I see other people bending fingers and stuff. Maybe I got to really bend it. So I ordered from Sheen. It was not that much. It was like a row of fingers and you put the nail on it and you can like polish it, do designs or practice. I ordered that. So hopefully with that, I can get a little bit more practice on things I need to do before I mess up my nails. So I did order that. Plus when I get polishes in and I wanna show y'all polishes and videos, if my nails are already polished, I can use that to show y'all polishes, designs, videos. So I did go ahead and order that. I wanna order another hand, but I wanna order the hand where the nail goes in into the hand. The hand that I have does not have an opening at the cuticle area so the nails won't stay on i don't know why they won't stay i tried to glue them on and everything they will not stay on so i just went ahead and ordered this other little thing from sheen and i'm gonna try to get the hand that you can slide the nail into so the nail sits still so you can do what you need to do so i will come back with my designs for y'all i will record a little bit while i'm designing them and then i will be back Hey guys, in the lab putting my stickers on. I got my stickers on and I am getting ready to put the base coat on and put them under the lamp. I did my right hand first this time because I felt like it would take the longest. So, 
The right hand is done. This is green. I know it doesn't look green in the light, but it's green. And it was a really thick, glittery green. I'm debating on taking it off or keeping it on. It's like a Ar Arnold green. It's this Madam Glam glitter green right here. Um, but I use my blooming gel. And then got my stickers here. Debating on throwing some glitter in between these a little bit. I don't know how that stone got on now. <laughs> I think it fell off of this nail. But yeah, I am in the lab and I am getting it in, y'all. So I am getting ready to do my right hand, um, my left hand, which I should be able to do a little bit faster because I'm right-handed. So stay tuned. I'll be back. All right, guys, welcome back. And I have done the Halloween nails. So check that out. Check it out. I found some Halloween stickers. I did have some. I used the majority of them. So next year, somebody remind me that I need some more Halloween stickers. Um, I used the Blooming Gel for this nail. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. Um, it may be coming off a little yellow to you, but it's actually orange and green and black with a little bit of glitter. I started to put some stones um, in there. But I ended up changing my mind. Hold on one second, y'all. All right, I wanted to oil my cuticles a little bit. I don't need y'all talking about me. All right, so this hand, this is my left hand. And I went in with more stickers because after doing my right hand first, I was like, man, I am loving these stickers. I don't even want to do designs. I just wanted to do all stickers. Um, <clears throat> so I did use up most of my stickers. So next year, I'm going to have to get stickers. But there is Witches. Pumpkins, ghosts, cupcakes, um, cats, bats, lips. I mean, all kinds of stuff. I put some glitter on this one. Which one? How do y'all like it better? Do you like it better? Like, this one has plain stickers. And this one, you can see, I threw bouts of glitter in there. Tell me which one y'all like better. The plain or the ones with splashes of glitter? Here's some bats, some ghosts. Focus, there we go. And the one with the splashes of glitter. And then on the thumb, I just did glitter and stones. I was trying to do a particular design. Um, it didn't work out the way I thought it was going to work out. And then I just didn't have the energy to bling out this entire nail. So... I don't know what I'm going to do with this nail. If I get aggravated with it, I will just take all the stones off and leave the glitter. So this is what the left hand looks like. And now we're going to go to the right hand. So here is the right hand. So on this nail, um, I did end up taking this off. I think I showed y'all a clip where this nail was completely green. I did not like it. I ended up taking it off. I ended up using my blooming gel and this is the design that the Blooming Gel made. And I'm super happy and excited with it. Um, thank you to whoever told me about the Blooming Gel. It really just allows the polish to flow how it wants to flow. And I don't have to put so much energy into a design. Um, here is my ring finger. And there you have all the little pumpkins, the little ghost, the little trick-or-treater guy. There's another trick-or-treater guy. There's some bats. There's a book. Pumpkin. So let me know, y'all, if y'all like it with just the, the stickers or like this one right here where I threw glitter in. Let me know. All right. This one, I also used Blooming Gel. It kind of drowned out the green, though. Um, it was green on the bottom. And then I did the orange and black. Let me see if y'all can see some of the green. I don't think so. I don't know if y'all can see any of the green. Um, so with the Blooming Gel, I'm still learning. I love how it made its own like little streaks down there. Um, but I have to move fast. Not only that, my nails curve. So with my nails curving, the gel kind of takes on a mind of its own and starts rolling everywhere. Um, so I have to move fast and I have to not put so much when I do dots and stuff because I forget that the Blooming Gel is going to bloom. However, I'm glad that I ended up liking um, the design that it made. And then my pointer finger is just more stickers, Happy Halloween, a witch's hat, the pumpkin. There's a little girl right there. And there is some more pumpkins. So should I have thrown some glitter 
in the empty spaces or should I just have left it how it is? Y'all let me know. And then the same thing with this thumbnail. I was trying to do um, a design that I saw on Instagram. I think what I'm going to have to do is cure my stones in between laying them. Because what happens is I try to do a design. Once again, when your nails curve, the stones will start sliding. They just start sliding all over the nail and it just messes up the design. So I may have to take my time and lay like two or three stones, cure it, two or three stones, cure it to get a design in the stones because if not, they just slide all over the place and it just becomes more difficult for them. Um, so yeah, so these are my Halloween nails. Halloween is next week, but I will have these nails on until probably the first, second week in November, but I don't care. I'm super excited. I like them. I like how they turned out. Let me know what you guys think. And I'm going to get online and order some more stickers. So, yeah. I put some more um, Builder Gel underneath. If you want to know what I put under my nails and you're new to this channel, I just put a Builder Gel underneath. And I did have some glitter underneath that I drilled that out a little bit. Um, the Builder Gel, I do like a pinkish color. And it just keeps my nails protected. Keeps them from being brittle underneath. And also helps me to wipe off. When I'm eating ketchup, mustard, anything, this is why my nails are not dirty underneath because this is um, like a polish. You do have to cure it. And then when you get something underneath your nails, you can just wipe it off with a paper towel or wash your hands and it comes right off. So any questions, put them down below. I'll see you guys in the next one.